welcome to the final part of this little series experiment that I did regarding this topper here. This is Beltress a 14 inch topper and I found that the back was a little sparse. It didn't give me the coverage that I really kind of was looking for and needed. And I love this topper so much I had to make it work. I just had to make it work because it's beautiful. And so that's kind of what this experiment was about. If you followed me, it's been quite some time um, waiting for this third part and I apologize for that. If you recall, one of the ideas that I had was to incorporate extensions either in my hair directly or right into the topper to see if I could help that. So the first part was me sharing with you the extensions by Irresistible Me, absolutely gorgeous human hair extensions, but my issue was the color was just not gonna work, so I had to figure out how to deal with that. The second part was me trimming this topper. It was a little too long for me, and so I took you through kind of how to do that, and we did that in the second part. So the third part is me figuring out what worked and sharing that with you regarding that problem in the back. Sadly, you guys, the Irresistible Me uh, extensions, as beautiful as they are, and I really need to reiterate that I have no issue whatsoever with the quality of those extensions. They're beautiful. I could not get that color to, to work for me. And one of the things that Irresistible Me um, told me to try is to try like a purple shampoo. It will dull down the yellow because the lightest color, and they call it platinum, and I really wish they wouldn't, only because when we think of platinum, don't you think of like a very, very light, light blonde, almost white, right? So now these are human hair extensions. Obviously, you cannot lift human hair that much without them turning to crud. I mean, there's just no way they could sell it, or if it, it probably wouldn't even survive for the most part because a lot of... Um, human hair extensions are made from Asian hair, which is very hard to lift anyway. And so if it were to be processed that much to be a true platinum or very light blonde, it would not be good at all. So they really can't do that. As far, this is my, my own reasoning, and, and I guess I'm assuming this is why they don't. But to call it platinum, I think, is just reaching a little bit more because it's quite yellow. They got it to the probably the lightest yellow shade because that's how the hair lifts, you know, as they could. And then it's up to you to get that color to work. So I did, and I bought uh, what was you know, very, I, I researched which ones I should get and I read all the different reviews and I ordered a purple shampoo that seemed to work really well for everyone, both with their own hair and, um, you know, like human hair, like extensions and, and all of that. Well, I did a stupid thing and I just assumed it was going to work. So I started working on all of them at once instead of just trying it out on one piece. So I did them kind of one at a time, but you have to let it sit for a little bit. And I went ahead and, and would just keep doing that and let it sit. And then it was time to wash it out. Oh my Lord, you guys. I feel, I know, I don't want you to think that I did something wrong because honestly, I feel like, I hope that the irresistible me people don't think I did something wrong. I, you know, I didn't like dump the shampoo on. I got it going in my hair, I mean in my hands first and you know kind of worked it through. Well the hair probably due to various porosity levels in the hair it would grab a lot of it in some places not so much in others and so it ended up being this weird uh, faint banding that happened and although it did get rid of the yellow it, it turned it more of a silver greenish hue. It was very odd. Um, it did not work nonetheless. And you know what, even if it didn't have that weird green hue, which was very faint but noticeable, um, or the, the weird way it grabbed on to the, the actual color, um, it still wouldn't have been the right color. Um, it kind of almost took it to a, a, a higher level than I needed when it comes to the the those the color you know so anyway it was it just didn't work it didn't work at all um it was so frustrating because i tried it more than once and i would rinse it out really well i would you know let it dry i was too afraid to to take a dryer to it so i would let them dry 
completely and then I actually would try I, I tried a couple strands again just to see if I could wash out some of that band anyway it was quite a thing very frustrating could not get the extensions to even get the color that I needed um, to even attempt to see how that whole thing would work out so my backup plan was the one that en ended up being so simple and works fantastic so I'm going to deconstruct this so you can see what I did so easy I think that for the most part it's whether or not you want to invest in you know the extra piece that I have talked about on my channel already but um, because it's not inexpensive so the fact that I invested money in both the topper and that which I actually had invested in already for the same reason. Still though, it's an investment, so you really have to love that topper enough to want to add something else to it, which I do. That's where this one, I love uh, this topper so much. Um, it's currently really kind of my favorite right now. I love the color, which is Honey with Chai Latte. I love the rooting. I love the believability of the fibers. I love the way it feels um, and I, it is so worth it to me to to go the extra bit to get it to work um, and you know what I it's been so long since I think that I've trimmed it that now my my actual hair I need to trim because it's now a smidge a little bit too long I think um, <laughs> so yeah whatever anyway let me show you first of all um, I have it in right now let me show you what the topper looks like with it in and then I'll take it out and I'll show you I'll put it back on I'll show you what it looks like without it so you can see what I mean and you can therefore see really what it does do for the entire look so I probably would work a little more hairspray in this and kind of blend in my own hair a little bit better than I did, but I knew I was going to take this right off again, so I'm going to now show you what I did. So, um, this is a lace front topper. I do not utilize the lace front. I'm really strange with that with my toppers. It's funny. I love lace fronts and wigs and I prefer them, but not in my toppers. It's crazy. So I kind of fold that lace back and work in my own hair and it works out really nice. Ooh, okay. So don't forget guys, I use fill-in powder. It gives the illusion that I have much more hair right here in the front than I actually do. You can see right through my scalp, I'm very gray. And here is the fill-in powder that I quickly put on uh, today um, already. And this is called fill-in powder. You can get it on Ulta.com. This is dark brown. It comes with a stippling brush. Now, it doesn't last the longest. This is the second one I've gone through, and I'm going to need to get some more here pretty quick. Uh, however, it is quite a bit less expensive than other brands, and to me, it works just fine. I have yet to use any other brands to see if I'm missing out on anything. I don't know. Like I said, that's my second one that I've purchased, but I do fill in powder uh, right here in the space between the where the topper is and my own hairline because if I don't you can see my scalp and you can see right to the topper and so this disguises that a little bit and I also take it and I cover up all my hair that is actually here but it's so gray and light you wouldn't be able to see it and that gives the illusion that I have a better hairline than I do and it blends in the topper uh, as well with my own hair here along the hairline and I take it and I kind of cover up a little bit of the gray the cool thing about honey with chai latte though is that even though it's not gray uh, that they put into that rooting air uh, blend it kind of gives the illusion a little bit of of gray a little bit but in a nice way so uh, I just absolutely love this color the rooting is fantastic um, so here's what it looks like before I uh, deconstruct her here. Look at how it, it really almost looks like a three quarter wig. That's how much coverage, you know, that I got from doing this. Beautiful. So now I'm going to show you what I've done. 
here is where the actual cap of, let me close these clips. I don't want to make a huge mess here. Okay. I'm going to try my best to show you this. So do you see where the actual cap is of the topper itself and where that cap is stopping? See, it's right here. That's where the actual topper is, and those are the actual clips of the topper. But what I have added takes this down to here. takes that down to here and I've clipped it directly kind of into the wefts about two wefts up I went ahead and, and clipped clipped it in here's a clip from from what I added so what the heck is that it is the John Renault easy crown in shaded praline and I have shown you this before. I purchased it because I was thinking about wearing it with my Easy Part XL HD toppers. Um, and I still could. I have not tried that, believe it or not. And this isn't permanently in here. I just clipped it in here so I can take it out and utilize this crown topper in any way I so choose. Very easy to do. But if you notice, though, being shaded praline and adding it to this honey with chai latte you virtually cannot tell the difference it's a beautiful color blend and the shade is just so close it's not perfect but it's close enough to where it really is um, undetectable now i did have to trim that easy crown to match the length to this one to the topper itself and all I did was I put it on just like it is now and then I um, after I trimmed it like in part two that's this one after I trimmed my topper I then uh, once I decided what I that I was going to use the easy crown I went ahead and attached the easy crown just like it is now I already had established the length because remember I'd already done that and then I would just pin this to my kind of cork head thing and then I trimmed the the easy crown just a tiny bit longer than the length of the topper just a little bit and um, if you bevel if you bevel your scissors and you do an angle and you bevel it just a little bit and you trim it in that angle when you're trimming it it will automatically force the fiber to kind of tuck under does that make sense to you guys okay so let me take this off the tricky thing before I take this off is that when you are getting ready to put this on you don't want to get mixed up which of the clips are the toppers clips and which are the easy crown it's pretty easy to see really but you know you do kind of have to look like that's the topper and um, here's the topper clip and here's the other topper clip but you can kind of see you know that this is not the toppers clip right here because I have it literally clipped over one of the wefts to keep it on Another thing you want to keep in mind is that you're adding weight to your topper. So that's important. This is definitely heavier than it was. And you can feel that, you know, when you're wearing it. it makes it a little bit warmer. And it, um, you know, you want to make sure that you have healthy hair to secure your topper with too anyway. But, you know, you're adding weight. So you're going to feel it. You really will. Okay, so let me take the topper out of here. not the topper the crown so i only really clipped the crown to in three places because this easy crown has clips that go all the way under here i don't secure that to my hair i just keep them closed and it just dangles there basically it's i didn't engage those clips and use them in any way now i'm going to take this easy crown i have not taken this easy crown out since I put it in 
it just blends in so well it it was hard to kind of figure out where it was there for a bit okay here we have let me hurry up and close these I don't want these to get all kind of tangled up so it's not a ton of hair right not a ton it's a little slice of like a you know like the moon <laughs> looks like a smiley face the cool thing about this is is that it's all beautifully hand tied and it's a monofilament material it is monofilament so it, it virtually blends right in and it looks like it's still coming out of your head and uh, it's it's brilliant it really is brilliant so uh, again I had to trim it to to match the length of the the topper there but it, it works out so good it really did and I love the topper so much it was totally worth it for me to do that so here's the topper um, without I feel like I kind of messed it up a little bit trying to get it out of there here's the topper you know without that add-in part of my issue and part of my problem I am very well aware is the fact that my bio hair does not remotely match this color at all I'm totally fine with that but because of that you can definitely tell that I needed more coverage back here if your hair is this color you probably don't need this extra thing I don't know I guess it's a personal thing but at least you wouldn't see where the topper started and stopped because you've color matched it and that's how you're supposed to deal with toppers anyway but let me put this back on okay so I can show you guys uh, what it looks like on me without that extra uh, little crown topper on there as you can see I've trained kind of this lacing to kind of fold over and um, that's me being weird I guess not doing that but so I kind of angle this down and let it curl in on itself that's a little okay I get some hair let it ride up a little bit so I don't get any pulling there because I'm very sparse right there I hold this and then I take this and bring it down that's the other thing that's a little tricky when you've got the crown topper on is you've got to get under the crown topper and kind of fish around with your thumb and get the correct you know um, uh, clip to, to clip so you're not grabbing um, the topper I mean the the crown okay I think I brought this a little too close to the front but I just kind of want to show you okay so whew. let me let me go ahead and show you what this looks like now without um, the crown topper in I don't know I, I really like the extra coverage I get with this I also really enjoy the extra body that I get right here um, and it kind of wraps it around here as well and um, doesn't do a whole lot to change the front or anything which is fine because I I feel like I, I am fine with with how it looked in the front the whole time it was just what happened when I turned around I find this to be true with top billing by Raquel Welch as well I haven't worn that one at all yet because two things um, I need to have that same problem situated but mostly it's because my own hair does not come close to being able to get away with wearing that color you know and I was thinking maybe this summer I would really lighten my hair but I decided you know what I am not going to go through that. I'm not going to put my hair through that. And uh, the upkeep is just not... So I, I kind of chucked that idea to try that out and to get my hair uh, to get a light blonde so I could blend these in better. Um, so I'm sorry if I... I had somebody say, hey, Jill, what, what 
What the heck? I thought you were going to do that. I decided not to. Plus, I found shaded mocha, and that works so well with my bio hair for the most part. So I felt, nah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that is what I did, you guys. Again, when you put this on, which let me, I don't think I'm going to be able to demonstrate that for you, but let me take the topper back off so I can at least show you about where in the wefts I clipped this in. Okay, it's getting very warm in this room. So let me go ahead and close these up. Okay, so here we have the extra wefts that, that this topper does give you. And all I did was I laid this down flat on my counter and I kind of, uh, because the thing is, guys, I hope, I hope I'm, not annoying you guys with my thought process. I'm trying to remember, you know, to tell you the things that are important. Um, because this has this mono top and it, it creates kind of an up and away effect to give you a natural crown, you can't put this too far down on your topper because it's going to give you a bubble effect back here. It's going to look weird. I did that. And I'm like, ooh, I'm going to have to put that up further so it will actually start right around where my head is starting to go down here, you know, when it starts going this way. It's got to be at least in that area to give a, a realistic kind of poof thing because it does slightly do that. So if you put it too far down, like say you're going to put it here, it's going to poof this out and it's going to look really bizarre. So what I found to be perfect when it comes to the placement is I would put it to the, let's see, counting this band, this band, I put it up one, two, and I put it up two wefts from the band. So here's the first weft from the band and the second weft. And I lined it up, I laid this on the counter straight where I knew it was straight, face down, so I'm looking at the hair, and then I put this directly underneath the hair, so I would have to part this, this is, I, I don't know why, I don't know why I didn't think about getting someone to help me film this, um, so I'm going to part the hair to that weft. So you're going to part the hair and move it out of the way and expose those two wefts that you are going to now secure this crown to. If this were lying flat on the counter, that's about what I have pulled back to expose the weft that I'm going to be attaching this to. So then I'm placing this uh, on the counter, making sure I'm paying attention to how straight it is because you don't want this to go in a little cockeyed because that's going to also look a little bizarre. You, This is perfect because it's, it's rounded perfectly to fit the topper's curve. Um, and it has great placement of these uh, clips, so they're, they're quite secure. I just make sure all of these are closed. I don't use them at all. So I'm going to, I'm going to open these three here. Clipped now, right into that third band, I'm going to close that shut. So now it should be easier to do these other ones. I'm just going to kind of make sure that I'm not having any puckering. This actually covers more area than it looks. So you want to make sure it's flat. I have all of those clipped in. I should be able to look at the back and see that I'm straight. I also want to make sure that I don't have puckering because that is going to show through uh, when you have it on your head. <clears throat> that puckering is going to be an issue. So that's pretty secure. It's very secure and it's straight. I'm looking at it again. I'm looking at it again making sure that it's straight and as long as I started with that that middle area 
between those two lower clips, I know that I did get it straight. So then the object is really to make sure that I avoid any puckering by either bringing it up a little too high and so it kind of puckers a little bit or maybe I, I didn't bring it to the right weft, whatever. But once you get that in, uh, it's pretty easy peasy from there. So now it's a matter of just kind of blending it in. I find that Shaded Praline and Honey with Chai Latte is a pretty nice blend together really. Um, but you will see that puckering if you need to redo that and readjust that, especially when you get it on your head. Then it'll pucker and you know, it'll kind of go, feep, the little hairs will come out like that. And then you know that, oh, I probably didn't get that as flat as I could have. So let me get this back on. And there you go. So yes, it is heavier when you get that crown piece on. You know, it feels more like a three-quarter wig instead of a lighter topper. But uh, you'll just have to see if this is something that you're, you're a little bit... Um, you know, you'll have to see if you're a little curious about this and see see how it works for you. I'm really happy with it. Once I get that positioning right, I'm good to go and it's so easy to put on and off and yeah, I've been really liking it. Okay guys, thank you so much for following along if you've been watching this series. I hope you found my experimentation helpful. Uh, for you and um, share anything that you've done that you also have found found helpful with those sparse toppers you know that in the back are just not giving you the coverage that you're looking for I'd love to know what you're doing okay thank you so much guys I'll see you real soon bye bye <laughs>